And you've been one such person to me ever since that day we saw you in the flesh for the first time. We were teenagers and saw you in downtown Park Street and Kirk Noello ran across the street. And amidst the conversation, he asked you if you could give us a bat, which you sent for us a few weeks later. You delivered on your promise. Made us so happy. We cherish that bat. You don't know how we cherish an oil and clean that bat for years. Um, to the day you turned up at the North South Bay in Central Trinidad and, and you pulled me aside and said, Youngster, I've been hearing some good things about you. Your future is bright. Those words give me encouragement and self belief that I desperately needed at the time. No one else would know about that. Um, to the years of playing alongside you and playing under your leadership, you taught us how to play the game, how to train, how to prepare, how to live life, and how to enjoy the game, even while you were going through your own experiences at the time, into your coaching, where you exhibit those same traits. When we gather a group of us and we talk about you, we often use this, this line that says, if Philip could give us the shirt off his back, he would do that if that would make us happy and help us to be fulfilled. And I don't think there's a greater tribute that we could pay to someone and to say that they would put down their own selves to make us happy, selflessness. There's not enough of that going around. Philip, you're a great family man with a great family. I thank God for Jace, the kids, and for you. Um, and as I said before, if the next 40 years are half as well lived as the past 60, we will all be blessed and you more so. You've gotten so much from life already and you deserve so much more. It's an honor and a privilege to call you friend.